Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tea and Butterflies. Today we are doing the Just Your Imagination challenge. And, oh my god. So, my little project is silly as I'll get out, but kind of funny too. So, we've got two co-hosts this, uh, this time. It's the Busy Housewife and Craft Away with May. And our hosts are Kathy Joe DIY and Rustic and Lace DIY. And our challenge items this time. Oh my god. An air freshener can? Really? Really, May? Anyway, we've got an air freshener can, a straw, foam board, and what was the other one? Oh, um... Heck, I don't remember what the other one was. I used it, but I don't remember what it was. Anyhow. So, oh, Q-tips. Q-tips, that's what it was. Everybody else was freaking out about the Q-tips. I was freaking out about the air freshener can. I mean, come on, y'all. An air freshener can? Ah. Oh, the ideas that these people come up with. So... Normally, I like to try to be as, as, I, I, I like my projects to, I'm a perfectionist, okay? I like my projects to be exactly, you know, I knew that this was not going to be one of those projects. I knew that no matter what I did, it was going to come out kind of silly. <clears throat> so, I kind of, um, um, pardon me, I kind of, uh, decided to play on the air freshener, um, aspect of this. And, so anyway, as you can see, I took a paper towel roll, cut it down where it fit partially around the can. And I'm taking these little discs and gluing them on so that I had a little added support for the legs and then I went and cut the I measured out this dowel and went and cut it down um I did that off camera because I don't have anywhere to plug in my little saw um over here by where I craft so anyway so I took the dowel glued it to the the little round discs and those are the little legs. They're kind of short and squat. But that kind of fits with the silly project. I decided the heck with it. I'm just going to embrace the silly at this particular point. There's nothing else I can do with that. I, I mean, yeah. So now I'm taking, I would have preferred felt for this. But couldn't find any brown felt. So I had to go pick up some faux fur. <clears throat> I couldn't find any brown felt anywhere in my path to, you know, at any of the stores that are between me and work and home. Um, I don't like, uh, I can't drive after dark. So running to a store, um, out of my way after. I get off work is not an option because it would put me driving at night in the dark. I hate this time change. It limits my ability to do anything. But anyway, so I took and measured it or, you know, and cut it down, wrapped it around. <clears throat> Pardon me. And I knew it wasn't, I knew it wasn't going to wrap all the way around. So that's why I grabbed two of these so that I had enough to go all the way around. I didn't do the very underbelly. Um, in all honesty, I will likely take this apart and use the stuff for something else. But. I had to come up with some kind of project 
for this silly air freshener can. Something that everybody else wasn't likely to do. It, it was kind of pre-assumed that everybody was going to use the air freshener can to make snowmen, Santa Claus, and gnomes. So, I wanted to make sure that I was outside the box. I'm really outside the box, let me tell you. <laughs> so I just took in, um, made sure that it was secure where everything matched up there. But I didn't, I didn't want to put a ton of hot glue on this because, like I said, I will likely take this apart and use the, the stuff for a different project. So I didn't want to get too gung-ho with hot glue on it. So I trimmed that down so that it fit better. I'm making sure I secure all of the the edges there. Well, my glue and whatnot is it, it doesn't seem to wanna. It's giving me some issues. It's arguing with me. It made me use more than what I wanted to. That's okay. I can work with that. It's only on the edge of the fabric. It's all good. So then I cut that down a little bit because I needed to make sure that the spray nozzle was free and clear. Because the concept is for it to be functional still. And you'll see why. If you didn't catch it in the photos before, you'll see why. All right, so now I've got his little fur and everything on him. So in this, so far, I've used the air freshener cam. So now I'm using the foam board to make his little head. I cut out his little ears and his little head. Now I'm trying to figure out how to secure it on there because I didn't want to glue it to the can. Because the concept, too, is so that you can swap out the can. So I didn't want anything glued directly to the can. Because, I, I mean, if I had decided to keep this project and, you know, whatnot, um, the whole point was for it to be functional. Anyway, so I took and um, I used the nutmeg brown, painted his little head, front and back, two coats, and around the edges too. <clears throat> well, I thought I cut out more paint. I thought I cut out the painting or more of it, but I didn't. It's okay. Okay, now we're getting into the Q-tips. So, I took and cut. As you can see, I had left part of it longer and cut a shorter piece. And now I'm... I had to take a third one and cut it um, to the size of the smaller pieces. So now I am taking those smaller pieces and attaching them to the longer piece. And you have to sit there and hold it for a little bit for the glue to set. Sometimes I find I get impatient and then I let go too soon and it, you know, it gets goofy on me. All right, now here comes the straw. So I took, a, snipped a little piece of the straw off of there and slid that in there, made sure that where that connection was went in the straw, added some more hot glue in there so that it secured it in and holds everything in place. <clears throat> I 
So now I have officially used every bit of the challenge items. The straw, the Q-tips, the foam board, and the air freshener can. The same with the other one. And I probably should have cut that out because you only had to, really needed to watch me make one of them. Alright, so now I am just kind of playing with the placement of his antlers. Because this is going to be a little reindeer. If you haven't figured that out by now. Although, the head with the little ears there, I don't know, kind of reminds me of Shrek. <laughs> oh well. So now I'm going to, I've glued those in place. And now I'm going to paint the antlers. I had fully intended to mix a little bit of lighter colored paint with that nutmeg brown before I did the antlers. And I just went to town on them and didn't even think about it. So I just went with the flow and left it as is. I decided to, uh, with this particular project, to kind of let my uh, sense of humor come through a little bit. And then of course my little uh, crafting buddy is uh, sitting there just snoozing today. Anyway, so this is part of a uh, collaboration playlist. The playlist is linked in the description box below as are the hosts panels. So when you get done with my video, click on that playlist and go see what other crazy creations us crazy women come up with with these challenge items. I am certain it is going to be good. Um, I'm also certain that everybody else's uh, air freshener can project, you know, or whatever, um, is probably going to be much, much better than mine. But like I said, I decided to embrace the silly and not get caught up in, oh, it's got to look perfect. It's got to, you know, no, we're not doing that. I'm going to embrace the silly, let it go as it goes. So if you like the uh, content that you see and you're not already subscribed, I invite you to subscribe. Um, we do a lot of, uh, I, I do this collaboration every month. Um, I love the challenge of trying to figure out what to do with these crazy items. It makes me think outside the box. Um, and sometimes after watching the playlist myself, I get inspired with some of those, um, challenge items that, cause I get different ideas for them and how, and how to use them. So I love this playlist. Um, but yeah, so, and subscribe so that you can watch some more craziness. Why not? Uh, and all of you that are subscribers and watch all my, my videos and everything, I really appreciate it. Uh, it means, means the world to me, y'all. I can't do this without you. So thank you so much for your support. So anyway, here, what I did, um, to connect the head. I took uh, the remaining little piece of that dowel rod that I cut down and I glued it to the fabric, the fur, the bottom side of the fur in between the can and the fur so that I had something to secure the head on with because I didn't, like I said, I did not want to glue anything to the can itself because the concept of this is for this to be um, where you can replace the can. So, if you can't get the can out of there, you can't replace it, right? So, here I'm creating a little tag that's going to hang on his little antlers. That um, Here's where the humor comes in. You'll see what that says here in a few minutes. So, uh, I had a little piece of... I had a hanger I cut off of something else, and I just 
snipped it down um, and glued it to the back of that little round disc. And I have took a half bead for the nose and painted it red. <clears throat> and now I've got like a little piece of garland type stuff with pit berries in it that I took off of something else that I used in a project. So I'm got to make him look a little Christmassy, right? And I hung his little tag on there. And reindeer farts. Look, reindeer farts. Anyway, you might find it funny. You might not find it funny. It's okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, my silly little reindeer farts can. Just uh, give me a comment down below. And I appreciate that you took the time to watch. Don't forget to check out that playlist because I am sure there's going to be some really fun, interesting things in this playlist. Thanks so much for watching.